Dr. Ajit Rawat, Interventional Cardiologist at Agra Heart Center and uh, we are here to demonstrate how to use the thrombus aspiration catheter device. This is uh, Mr. Sarvesh, he is the cath lab technician. He is a very, very uh, uh, great or a good uh, cath lab technician and I rely on him uh, a lot uh, whenever I am in doubt and uh, during plasties and all. And um, so we are both together demonstrating how to use a thrombus aspiration catheter device. As you all know, thrombus aspiration catheter device comes uh, uh, from a variety of manufacturers. Uh, take it from Abbott, take it from Met Medtronic and a lot of other companies. There is an Eliminate uh, device, there is a thrombus aspiration or thrombuster device and there is a uh, what is a export catheter device also that can be used in patients with a high thrombus burden whenever you need to uh, what is a aspirate thrombus load. So we are going to demonstrate that. We will go to the video next. Thank you. Hello guys. Uh, so uh, we are talking about the thrombo aspiration catheter here. So as you can see, this is the thrombo aspiration catheter. Uh, there are two holes in a thrombo aspiration catheter. One is a slanted hole that is more proximal that you can see that is the thrombus aspiration. And uh, the second hole that is a pinpoint hole is where you introduce it over a wire. So the thrombus aspiration catheter Okay, so the thrombus aspiration catheter uh, uh, The stillet is already in place You can see that the stillet is inside So we open or what do you say We insert the thrombus aspiration catheter With the stillet in place So uh, first of all what we have to do Keep it in here so what we are going to do is we are going to take uh, 5 to 10 ml of a hypernized saline and we are going to flush the catheter once. So and we will be inserting all of this hypernized saline so that the catheter gets flushed adequately. So no problem. Next, we'll put this top cock. And we'll take a little more of saline. And we will flush this whole thing, keeping the stop cock open like so. After that, just for the this is just for the sake of demonstration. After that, we'll take a, a syringe, this thrombo aspiration syringe, and we'll put the stop clock to close, and we'll put it on negative pressure like so. Takes a lot of effort, and already done that. Next, what we are going to do is the catheter, the catheter. we are going to introduce it over the wire. I can't come soon. You uh, take the video, service. You hold the catheter. Show my hand here. Hmm. Yes. So I am introducing this over the wire. little difficult with the camera on my face okay I'm going to introduce this all right we have to hold the wire uh, service just hold the wire here yes hold the wire from here and we're going to introduce it okay as you can see into the catheter we're using an ebu catheter yes. XB sorry yes so XB till the catheter comes the thrombus aspiration comes out of the catheter like so kindly show the face of the uh, yes so uh, the thrombus aspiration catheter is going to come out I think in yes so it has come out so we are going to place this thrombus aspiration catheter there only 
and uh, it will be placed proximal to the just proximal to the lesion that we want to aspirate basically uh, characteristically a thrombus uh, laden uh, or thrombus high thrombus burden lesion so next please come here what we are going to do show here we are going to remove this stop cock and show it yes so we're going to remove this stop cock next what we're going to do is that we will be removing the stillet yes so this is the stillet and we're going to remove this stillet and this is done so we've removed the stillet next what is going to happen is that we are going to reconnect this stop cock with the thrombus aspiration device next uh, we are taking uh, maybe heparinized saline as a uh, substitute for blood and you can see that as soon as you remove the uh, negative pressure you know, the aspiration starts show here yay so you can see very clearly that aspiration is happening yes can you see i think it is very clear so uh, this is the aspiration when you're finished with it you can obviously turn it down remove this and uh, you know you're done with the aspiration if you have been supplied a mesh with it then you just you know insert the aspiration uh, catheter and you know you're good to go and this is uh, very helpful and high thrombus burden if you want to reintroduce uh, the catheter uh, you know you can just again put a negative uh, pressure on this syringe like so and just you know put a negative pressure and you can re aspirate how to remove very simple removal is quite simple so uh, removal is through this you hold the wire here and you aspirate uh, and you just you know over the wire you catheter pakadna padega actually out of body hai na to support nahi milta yes so what we are going to do is you remove the wire it over the wire yes very good once you're done quite simple actually just like you remove a balloon from show you all right and that is done